your perfectionist mindset is destroying your diet your perfectionist mindset your all or nothing mindset i gotta be perfect with it or i can't do it at all is destroying your diet it's holding you back from creating the content you want to make from building muscle from losing fat from getting to the gym from implementing good habits into your life from destroying the bad habits it's your perfectionist mindset and you have to be really fucking self-aware about it if you want to create some type of change in your life because right now you're struggling with either implementing good habits cutting out bad habits or creating some type of change this all or nothing mindset is what held me back for about six months i i went to the gym and dieted for i want to say I've been doing this for the past four years, right? I went from 193 pounds down to 160, I think 157 was my leanest, so I'm bulking back up. But there's a six month span in there where I was just looking mid. I was going to the gym, I was doing the dieting, in my head at least, and I was just looking mid. And I was like, looking back on progress photos, and I was like, I have not fucking changed at all. I've been going to the gym for the past six months but I have not changed. I've not gained any more muscle. I've not lost any more fat. What the fuck is going on? And I realized it was my all or nothing mindset. It was during the week I would do so good. And then Friday, Saturday night comes along and I mess up on my diet a little bit. I have some junk food. I have some Taco Bell, some Jack in the Box, whatever, right? Going to Safeway, getting some cheesecake. I goddamn love cheesecake. I haven't che had cheesecake in ages, but those are things that would mess up my diet is Friday night, oh, you know what? Fuck, man, I really, uh, you know, I've had a long week. It's been stressful. Um, the week didn't go my way. I'm not making the money I want to, et cetera, et cetera. Some type of stress from life, finances, relationships, et cetera, right? I would get in my own head and I'm like, fuck, dude. All right, you know what? Have a little bit of cheesecake. Saturday, and then Saturday morning comes along and I'm like, you know what? I already messed up. Let me go to Starbucks, get that, get that iced matcha latte with almond milk and honey and sugar and all that jazz. And then, you know, I'm already, I already messed up a little bit, so might as well skip the gym. I already messed up a little bit, so might as well fuck up lunch. I already messed up a little bit, so might as well fuck up dinner too. But that doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't. If you mess up a little bit in your routine, why would you throw out the entire week, the entire month's worth of effort. That's ultimately what's keeping you in this endless cycle of not making progress when it comes to your health and fitness, building muscle, losing body fat, your diet, your workout. Because you messed up a little bit, now you have to mess up even more. And you ultimately have to be self-aware that this is going on. You have to be mindful about it. And this is where I think the months of meditation that I did at 20 years old when I was cutting out the vape, the weed, the nicotine, all that jazz, I was in this depressed state. I was full of anxiety in my head because I didn't have these coping mechanisms anymore. So I, I tried a bunch of shit because I was, I was sad as fuck. I was sad as fuck. And I came across meditation. And I was like, all right, meditation's a woo-woo, mindfulness topic, whatever. If people praying in the mountains and shit. I don't need to unlock my chakras, all right, dog? I need to feel better. But I did this meditation and uh, ultimately what it did just helped me be more mindful of my own thought patterns and how they sabotage you and the thoughts that are coming to your head and how they make you feel. And ultimately I've gone to that point now where like today, I finished my routine a little bit late, right? My workout's a little bit late and it was a half-assed workout. It was a half-assed workout. And I always preach to get your workout in, go hard, go intense, be focused. But today was kind of half-assed if I'm being honest with you. Um, I was listening to a podcast on social media mentorship and growing your business and growing your content and what to do. And it was just like I was playing back on the buttons on my phone. Uh, I wasn't taking proper rest between sets. I was taking them too long and I wasn't focused. I wasn't ultra focused to get the most I can out of this one hour, one and a half hour workout. And now my own thought patterns was like, oh, you know what? You messed up a little habit, so might as well skip the social media post because I'm on a 100-day challenge right now. I got to post every single fucking day, and I'm not, I'm not going to quit. But my own thought patterns were like, you know what? Just skip that social media post because you already skipped this. Uh, have that little, have more caffeine because I'm trying to quit out caffeine. Have more caffeine uh, and just skip this next social media post and then get started with your day. Take a little bit of a break. Go to the bathroom whatever jack off with your time bro don't fucking worry about your time i i recognize those top patterns but because i haven't given into them for so long it's just fucking armor you build that discipline you build that willpower of not giving into your thought patterns and with the business 
with the diet it's been it's been months of doing that right so that's why i say dieting is a skill man dieting is a skill and you have to be aware of these thought patterns that are sabotaging you keeping you in the same place whether it's the all or nothing mindset the perfectionist mindset the when it comes to creating content for me it's been the uh, imposter syndrome when i became a fitness coach it was imposter syndrome who am i to teach other people how to become fit right but ultimately I had to become self-aware and destroy all these mindsets. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to help all these people I'm helping out in person at UFC gym in Honolulu or through my online coaching business. So be self-aware, do some sort of mindfulness practice, meditation, five minutes of meditating per day. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. You do have fucking time for it. If it's going to help you be more mindful, more aware, create mental clarity, create peace of mind, why wouldn't you create five minutes in the day for meditation? To at least try it out. Try it out for a month, two months, three months. See how self-aware you become of your own thought patterns throughout the day. Because that's, that's ultimately the big thing when it comes to getting in shape, building muscle, losing body fat. Is It's, it's not the, uh, to a certain degree, it's the training program, it's the nutrition, but a lot of it is mindset, man. A lot of it is mindset. You got to think differently when it comes to health and fitness so take away for this video be self-aware of your all or nothing mindset be aware of your perfectionist mindset just because you're implementing these good habits into your life and destroying these bad habits and you mess up on it a little bit doesn't mean you have to go all out into a binge okay be self-aware control yourself build that mental muscle if you need direct help with your training program what's your nutrition plan what's your mindset and you like the stuff i'm saying and what you've been doing up until now hasn't worked if you take a realistic look at your progress for the last three six twelve months and you're like dude i actually haven't changed much i i think i know what i'm doing in the gym because you know it's pretty basic but i'm not seeing progress then there's something wrong with your training program with your nutrition plan or your ability to hold yourself accountable and that's ultimately what a coach does so if you're interested click the link in the description let's get at it let's get it today and uh let's fucking kill it dude let's go